few years ago, a mom wrote a parenting book that freaked out a lot of people. Extreme parenting. They were upset about the woman who called herself Tiger Mom. The surprising details of her strict parenting methods causing quite a controversy. Controversy because of her strict rules. Your daughters were not allowed to attend a sleepover, have a play date, be in a school play, complain about not being in the play, watch TV or play computer games. Right. This seems mean. I don't think so at all. <laughs> I think the message is, you know, I believe in you. You are capable of so much more than you realize. And if you just stop whining and, you know, don't give up and don't make excuses, you can do anything you want in your life. To teach her two daughters that, she forced them to practice violin and piano for hours. Kids have to practice two, three, four or five hours a day. And I think for a lot of normal American parents, that's inconceivable. Her kids excel. Here they are at ages 11 and 14, performing at a grown-up concert. One daughter also excelled in tennis. And at school, the other made valedictorian. But the Tiger Mom's book got lots of criticism. She doesn't let kids make their own decisions. A manual for parents who want to systematically weed out any genuine interest or passion for life. The dream is you just give the child a clarinet and amazing jazz pops out. Or you give the child a piece of paper and, you know, string theory will come out. But before you can invent string theory or invent the theory of relativity, you need to be able to multiply <laughs> really well. Like, Even where's it? childhood? Yes, we want our children to be happy, but it's not the secret to happiness, to say, do whatever you want, just enjoy yourself. You called your daughter garbage once. And I mentioned this at a dinner party, and several people walked out. <laughs> yeah, I would yeah. think so. You're just destroying your child's spirit. To me, the message is, you know what? I think you're better than that. I think you should hold yourself to a higher standard. And honestly, I think, you know, parents these days, they are so terrified of making their children feel bad. Yes, maybe for good reason. Everyone knows Asians are more likely to commit suicide. Except what everyone knows is wrong. Asian Americans actually have among the lowest suicide rates of any group. It's true. The Asian suicide rate is half that of the general population. Maybe tiger moms are better at instilling self-esteem. You can tell your child, you're amazing all you want, but that doesn't instill true confidence. True self-esteem has to be earned. Amy says Asian parents are more likely to be tiger moms, and that's why Asian Americans get better grades and have higher average incomes. Now, in her new book, The Triple Package, Amy and her husband argue any parent can do it, but certain immigrant groups, Jews, Cubans, Nigerians, and others, are more likely to instill values in kids that lead to success. Tiger Mom is back with a despicable new theory about racial superiority. It is racism. It seems to be racially charged. She is the worst person ever born. It's not race and genetic. We say the opposite. We say, look, if you look at America, the most successful groups include all races. So please welcome Kudaratu Kudi Uzman. Nigerian Americans are an amazing example. Less than 1% of America's black population, they made up a quarter of Harvard Business School's black students. It's something about culture and how they're raised and expectations. You know the secret of success. It's three things. The first is a sense of exceptionality. We call it a superiority complex. The second element, which is a dash of insecurity. I'm not quite good enough yet. I shouldn't just sit back. It's contradictory. Superiority complex, insecurity. Steve Jobs is a perfect example. He had such a superiority complex, but all of his friends also described him as deeply insecure. I think that's what creates this kind of chip on the shoulder, this goading feeling like, I need to show everybody. I need to prove myself. The third element of the triple package is impulse control. Can your child sit still? and concentrate on things that won't bring rewards for years? Chinese immigrant parents force their preschool children to do one hour a day, on average, of a focused activity. 
That could be reading, drawing, but doing something with no distractions. One hour on average a day compared to just six minutes a day for uh, Americans on average. But does this obedient sitting and drilling kill the creativity that leads to real innovation? Those American tech entrepreneurs who've invented so many cool things. I hear many are college dropouts, not studious kids raised by Tiger Mom. I look at all the innovation we've seen in America, Facebook and Google. These are not kids who were drilled. These are not kids raised by Tiger Moms. You're programming the kids. You know, actually, if you look at Silicon Valley, a hugely disproportionate percentage of the innovators and startup founders are actually immigrants and immigrants' children and triple package groups. Sergey Brin co-founded Google, Steve Chen, YouTube, Jerry Yang, Yahoo. It's the parent's job to give them the tools, you know, to give your children the ability to focus on something so that when they can find their passion, you know, they can do something with it. You had nasty fights with the girls. Incredibly nasty, especially with my younger daughter. She refused to do it and she was stomping off and I said, get back to the piano. And at one point my husband said, you know what, maybe she just can't do it. And I said, you know what, you just don't believe in her. I'm gonna do this. We drilled and we drilled and it wasn't that pleasant, but then suddenly, after like an hour and a half, her two hands came together. She realized it at the same time that I did, and after that, Lulu refused to leave the piano. And years afterward, she told me, Mommy, I remember that moment, and I think that's a life lesson that lasts forever. I think that's how you instill real confidence. Your daughters like you? I think they love me. They now say, thanks, Mom, I'm glad you did this stuff? Actually, you'd be surprised. 